Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're gonna solve a problem which usually comes up whenever, whenever you downloaded a torrent file and it'll give you an error on installation which says the installation cannot continue as the installer file may be damaged. Download the installer file, file again. Now, this uh, issue is not very complicated to get over with it, uh, but what happened that I recently, I um, upgraded my uh, operating system um, to uh, Mac OS Big Sur 11.1 and after that I've had a lot of issues in terms of I needed to upgrade my software so how do you uh, how do you work around it let's get into the video and let's check it out so the first thing is that I have my um, software which I've downloaded over here. I've downloaded it already. If you uh, would download it from the internet onto say a torrent file, uh, all you have to do is uh, you just have to go to that specific folder and after that uh, once when you click it, it'll, it'll, of course whatever the whatever site you download it from, it might ask you a password and um, and of course it'll start opening. And once, say, um, you want to install uh, the uh, any sort of software which you've downloaded, which is a torrent, um, uh, it should uh, give you these sort of files. And as soon as you click install, it'll wait for some time and it'll say installation cannot continue as install file is damaged as I show you. Now guys, just to, before I go on further in this video, I've downloaded this for tutorial purposes. So the first thing is that you can open up system preferences, go into uh, security and privacy and over here if the app has been opened and it's waiting then it can also sometimes give you that error but in this case it's not showing up so uh, we have to take the other approach so the way is very simple as uh, we click the folder and it'll take us to the main folder and from here we right click on show package contents on that install file and then click show package contents and over here you have contents click that and then uh, click on Mac OS and over here you have install now this is the installer file which you right click and click open so as soon as you click open it'll give you uh, this text file would open up and it'll ask you for your password if you need to make any changes to your computer I'll just put in my password and I click OK and the installer will uh, start and you'll see in a second that the installation will um, you know it'll ask me to continue and then it will start installing so guys this wraps up my video and those of you guys who don't know me i make youtube videos i make tech videos i make blog videos and just consider subscribing to my channel hit the like button and do press the bell uh, icon for notification so as soon as i post new videos it'll be uh, so you'll be notified and in that way you can you know get some knowledge or you could enjoy my videos and uh, It'll be great to see you guys and if you have any comments uh, regarding this tutorial, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll reply back to you. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye for now.